Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Today, I have good news for you in our lesson today. We are not going to start a new lesson, but we will continue the lesson that we have started yesterday. That's why I want you to be ready for the mathematics period. So, first of all, I want to start, you know, as usual, saying the day and date. So everyone, what's the day and what's the date? I need your help. So yesterday was Monday. So what day comes after Monday? Tuesday. Well done. And the date is April 14, 2020. So here we go. As I said to you, we're going to continue the lesson we have started yesterday about how to take a survey. Do you see here the tally chart? Yesterday we talked about the tally chart and I explained to you how to use the tally marks and today we will continue talking about the same concept. So everyone, by the end of this lesson you will be able to take a survey and organize data using tally marks. So let's start with the mental math. Please, everyone, read carefully. Complete the following sequence. Take your time to avoid any mistakes. So everyone, let's watch the video together. Listen carefully. In this video, we're going to look at tally charts. A tally chart is a way of organizing data as you're collecting it or once you've collected it. So here we've got a lot of a load of dice and we've got different colored dice. We've got green, blue and red dice. So if we want to do a tally chart to organize this data, what I would do is I would create... So everyone, this is the tally chart we're going to use or he's going to use to record the data. It's something like this, where I, had, where I would have color, red, green and blue, tally and frequency. Now the very important thing is whenever you're putting the data into your tally chart that you're systematic with how you do it. In other words, you do one piece of data at a time, okay? Quite often I stri I cross it out as I'm doing it, okay? So for instance, okay, if I had this data, okay? So everyone, each dice will represent one tally mark. First one is green. So I go to the green and I put a tally, like so. Next, another green. So I cross it off and I do another tally. Next one, blue, cross it off and put blue. Next one, blue, cross it off and put blue. Green, 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 red, 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 green. Now, as you notice, I've got to uh, four tallies here. The fifth tally uh, goes across, okay? He, um, you can go across diagonally from top left and from right, or the way, or you just horizontally across, but it just crosses the four over, so that's five, six, six, I have a screen, uh, red, 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 and blue. So as you can see, we've crossed them all off, off on the original data, like so, and we've put them all into tallies. So now let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we have filled out the data, uh, or filled out the tally chart with the data. Uh, we have put the tallies in, so let's put the frequencies. Frequency is just another word for how many. So here we've got 4 for red, so 4. We've got 6 for green, so 6. And we've got 3 for blue, so 3. So there we go, we have created our uh, tally chart and uh, we've filled it out. So after watching the video, we get to know why do we use the tally chart. We use the tally chart to collect data and organize our information. So everyone, I want you to uh, look over here and let's read uh, the question together. Conduct a survey asking 15 people to choose their favorite wildcat. Use tally marks to record the data. So when you take a survey, you ask a question. This is very important. Use, use tally chart, or sorry, use tally marks to record the answers or data, and data is information. Well done. 
So everyone, imagine that you are in the class and you are going to ask your friends about their favorite wild cat. So let's say Azari, Nora, and Hent, they chose tiger. So we're going to write three. Let's say Omar, Ali Rashid, Sultan, and Saeed Al Ghafli. They chose lion. They are four. And also Saif chose lion. So the fifth one, we're gonna do it this way. So we have five. Okay, so the total is eight. Okay, so here also there is an animal. Let's say um, Amna, Rauda, Jut, okay, and Maryam, okay, and Marwa. They chose this animal also. Afra and Aisha. So the total is seven. So everyone, as you can see in the tally chart, three students chose tiger, five chose lion, seven choose cougar, and zero choose leopard. So everyone, here we have two options, task number one and two. So you can choose one of them or if you want to complete two of them also you can so everyone here is task number one what do we need to do is to read carefully and to circle the numbers and find the keywords so let's read together so students were surveyed to choose let me say their favorite flavor of ice cream so five students chose mint so we're gonna look for mint here so we're gonna add five tally marks one two three four five i'm gonna write the number over here the total okay everyone and eight eight students chose vanilla so where's vanilla so eight we're gonna one two three four five six seven eight so i'm gonna write number eight okay and uh eight students chose chocolate so with the chocolate so one two three four five six seven eight so number is eight and Three students chose strawberry. So one, two, three. So let's write number three. Well done. So how many students were surveyed? So everyone, I want you to find the total. So write on a piece of paper. <coughs> eight plus five plus eight again. Help me. <coughs> So we said eight plus five plus eight plus three. So what is the answer, everyone? Excellent, 24. So which flavors receive the same number of votes? I can say uh, the, where is it? I think chocolate and vanilla because as we can see her here we can see eight students chose the vanilla and here eight students chose also the chocolate so the numbers here are the same so how many more students voted for vanilla than strawberry okay if you will see then here this word so how many more students voted for vanilla than uh, for a strawberry, you are going to find the difference. So you are going to minus the numbers. So 
vanilla and strawberry. So vanilla eight okay eight students minus three. So what is the answer everyone? It's your turn to find the answer. So here's task number two. I want you to read the question carefully, circle the numbers and please find the keywords. The last here, let me say closure, circle the word that matches the definition. Numbers are symbols that show information. Is it tally marks, survey, or data? So everyone, finally, please don't forget to upload your work in your portfolio in Class Dojo. And have a great day. Bye-bye, everyone.